Welcome everyone, today I want to talk about Hyperscape, a game that was published by Ubisoft, one of the biggest publishers around the world, and the game died within a week, but they recently announced Season 3, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was shocked when I looked at all of the things coming in Season 3, and it's very clear that Season 3 is going to be a make or break for Hyperscape. It's either going to blow the game up again, or it's finally going to be a nail in the coffin for Hyperscape. They're going all out this time with Season 3, and I've got a feeling that this game could blow up when Season 3 launches. <laughs> I knew something didn't feel right and I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> now, if some of you guys are wondering, it's too late for Hyperscape to blow up. The game is dead, blah, blah, blah. Well, Ubisoft have already had experience in blowing up a game after it essentially died. If we take a look at Rainbow Six Siege, that game launched and it was pretty much dead within the first few months. And now it's one of the biggest tactical shooters out there. So Ubisoft know how to blow a game up again. And it looks like Hyperscape Season 3 is going to be huge. And let's show you guys why. Now, of course, you're going to get the usual things like new skins you're going to get a new hack as well but the thing i'm most excited about is neo arcadia 2.0 they've essentially revamped the whole map they've made it bigger they've made it more spacious because before it felt very claustrophobic you were surrounded by all kinds of buildings and most gunfights would be medium to close range you would never really engage at longer ranges because the map was just too small now it's bigger it's better they've also added in more terrain you've got lakes you've got very open space green areas so that on its own is going to feel like you're playing a completely different games games like fortnite call of duty warzone even apex legends have their moments where you can just explore with your friends you'll be able to explore the map much more without having to worry about the whole chaoticness that is involved with hyperscape because you're going to find less enemies each game and it's going to be more chilled less chaotic and a lot of people prefer that so if we scroll down here as you guys can see we've got the world update here welcome to neo arcadia 2.0 here it says the bigger map now features new key landmarks more diversified terrain and more identifiable zones for players to traverse we really wanted each area to have its own personality and it says here if you're looking for some fresh air maybe take a walk near javert tower high in the sky surrounded by water and some boats you're sure to see some enemies coming towards you now here we've got some more information about Neo Arcadia 2.0 and here it says that there are more open spaces and variety in the combat encounters with other players more variety across the world and zones each zone feels different and offer a different gameplay style so depending on where you want to land when you first jump into the game you know the map is going to have more variety and that's the one thing I'm looking forward to most and it also says here chests now spawn 100% of the time and loot can also be found outside to adjust to the bigger open areas that you'll find in the map here we can also see another a quality of life update that's coming in season three when you finish a game this is what the main menu is going to look like similar to other games i really like this layout where you've got your character on the right hand side on the left hand side you've got you know what game mode you want to play and it's a very simple minimalistic design that other battle royales have and works very well so i'm happy to see that coming as well you've also got other things coming such as the new firewall hack you've also got TD a new tdm update as well with more content coming into team deathmatch but this is really interesting i'm intrigued and i'm definitely going to be trying this game out i think we're going to get a lot of advertising for season three because they have put so much work into season three just the map alone has been completely revamped and what felt like an arena style shooter before very fast paced chaotic is now going to feel completely different bearing in mind the map is bigger each area is going to feel like a completely new world they've even added in train stations to this map with trains going along along the map which is uh quite exciting but be sure to let me know what you think of hyperscape season three do you think this is going to make the game good again do you think more people are going to jump onto season three could this be the next game to blow up in 2021 or do you think it's too late be sure to let me know what you think down below in that comment section i mean this game's got crossplay. they have done a lot of weapon changes and weapon balancing since the game came out the time to kill is much faster than it was before they've done a lot of adjustments and they've come a long way since the game launched they've even added a field of view option for console players there is no reason for this game to not blow up in season three and if they play their cards right they advertise the game correctly they promote a load of streamers to play the game we could be in for a real treat here and if you're a true 
Hyperscape fan, then you should be excited for this season. The reason why I think Hyperscape died originally, or it's not a, it's not a dead game, I shouldn't say died, but what I mean by that is that it's basically on life support. And the reason why this game's on life support is because the game was too hard to play for the casual players. There was too much chaos going on, the skill gap was extremely high, and now they've essentially fixed that by making the map bigger, giving you more explorability in each game, rather than just having to focus on enemies all over your screen. They've, they've taken it down a notch, they've made the time to kill faster, they've basically Basically made it easier for below average players and you know casual players to, to get kills and uh, I just can't wait to explore this map if you guys want to see a season three on the channel be sure to let me know down below but um, I recommend every one of you guys download Hyperscape try it out give it another chance because this could be the next game to blow up in 2021 I've just got a strange feeling that's why I've made this video I haven't made a video on Hyperscape throughout the last two seasons season one and season two purely because I don't feel like them seasons gave much to us and I was correct season one didn't blow up Hyperscape season two didn't but season three could be the third lucky time but yeah i'm gonna wrap this video up here be sure to let me know what you think of the new map neo arcadia 2.0 down below in the comment section and yeah thank you all for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day and as always i'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video take care